Well, a woman from Lake Wales is on the run right now after scoring some plastic surgery at somebody else's expense. Lakeland PD says Nayara Thomas got breast implants and a butt injection with a phony credit card. Evan Axelbank on this one. Look to the woman from Illinois whose ID was stolen. Interesting, Evan. And joins us now live from Lakeland yeah. PD. Uh, how'd this happen? Well, Mark, detectives here still don't know how she got the woman's information, but she did and ran up a $12,000 bill. She sure is proud of them. It's how she got them that has police after her. She was able to fill out a credit card application, get that approved, and get it through so she can have these procedures done. Indeed, police say 20-year-old Naira Thomas had three plastic procedures, breast implants, butt implants, and lip implants. $11,025 later, she went from this to this. I pulled my credit report, and I saw... Did she open a $12,000 account? That's Casey Mather of Illinois, who was tipped off when she got a thank you card from the Watson Clinic in Lakeland for the procedures that she'd supposedly had done. When she called, the clinic told her that someone opened a line of care credit with a bogus Illinois ID and her social security number. And I thought, here's this poor woman in Florida, doesn't have health insurance, has some health condition that she needs urgent care and like this is her only option and then the detective told me it was plastic surgery and I was like of course of course it was plastic surgery thanks to pictures taken at the clinic that show her unique tattoos her friend identified her to police she knows we're looking for we've been in contact with some of her family members and she is uh, obviously avoiding us but we'll find her while the watson clinic may be out the money for doing the procedure casey mather says care credit has promised to scrub this from her credit report kind of like plastic surgery and i had to do put in a ton of hours calling all of the credit bureaus and checking all of my personal accounts and calling my health insurance and yeah it was a bit of a nightmare she is facing three charges, including, including forgery and grand theft. Of course, Lakeland police are asking anyone who may have information on where she is to give them a call. They do believe, Mark, that she is nearby. I still can't believe they got a thank you card. She got a thank you card in the mail. That's how she found out. That's an amazing story. Evan, thanks very much.